Representing Goose Tatum is his son, Reese Tatum III, who is welcomed by Marcus Haynes, class of 1998, and Meadowlark Lemon, class of 2003. Ladies and gentlemen, Reese Tatum III. Good evening, how are you this tonight? First, I'd like to thank the Hall of Fame and also Manny Jackson for making this possible for my father tonight. My father's career spanned over 30 years, uh, starting in the Negro Leagues when he was still a teenager. Um, the last 10 years of his life, he was actually able to own and manage his own team, which was a huge accomplishment for a black man in the 50s and the 60s. One of my dad's greatest, greatest accomplishments were his friendships. And he had one friendship that was more special than all the rest. These two men were like this the entire time that they played with the Globetrotters. When, they, when he left the Globetrotters, they were still like this. When my father died in 1967, he was buried in an unmarked grave without any ceremony. He had a really good friend who came to his gravesite and saw that he did not have anything there whatsoever. There had been no service. This gentleman went to a store and bought a Bible, came back and read over his grave. You can't get a friend like that, ever. If my father were here today, I'm sure that he would like to say, thank you so very much for being my friend, Marcus Haynes. Since my father isn't here to say that, I'm going to say it for him. Marcus? Thank you for being my dad's friend. I appreciate it so very much. I can't even tell you. I cannot even tell you. In 1955, the Harlem Globetrotters played their very first nationally televised basketball game ever. Of course, the Globetrotters won. You already know that. Um, my dad made 30-something points and then immediately quit the Globetrotters, which some might say seems crazy. My dad wanted more. He wanted to be in control, not only of the, the game and the team, but his own money. And the only way to do that was strike out on his own. I was lucky enough to tour with my father for seven years. Um, when I toured with him, we went from Canada to South America several times. The only place that we ever had any trouble was in the United States in the South, unfortunately. As a child sitting in the backseat of a Cadillac where I grew up, it was extremely common to look out the window and see black and white signs on bathrooms. And that's wrong in so many different ways. In the South, when we went to, we were trying to find a hotel or restaurant, my father was extremely successful, but that didn't open the doors for him or his family. We would always find a colored neighborhood, find a colored hotel, and go to a soul food restaurant. And that was good, but it wasn't good that we had to do that. And I'm glad that we don't have to do that anymore. 
My father told me two things I'd like to share with you tonight. Things change very slowly, so pay attention. Because if you don't pay attention, we will repeat where we've been before, and we don't want to go back ever. He also told me, be the best. If you're going to be a dishwasher, if you're going to be a street sweeper, it doesn't matter what you do, it matters how you do it. So be the very, very best at whatever you do. Ten years ago, my wife, Sunita Tatum, contacted a gentleman by the name of Ben Green. After 40 years, because of Ben Green, I was able to reconnect with a family that I had lost. The last time I saw the Tatum family, I was four years old. The next time I saw the Tatum family, I was 44 years old. And I found a lot of love in that family. I'd like to thank my daughter, Nicole Tatum, for being here this evening. Nicole, I cannot tell you how much I love you. I'd like to thank my Aunt Ruth Langley, my cousin J.D. Purdy for being here this evening, and also on the Tatum side. And the only reason I know any of these people on the Tatum side is because of Ben Green. Ben Green, I thank you so very, very much from the bottom of my heart. Reese, Billy Ray, Michael, Shirley, I love all of you, completely and absolutely. For my sister, Marjorie Ann Bird, who wasn't able to be here this evening, my love goes out to you. For my brother, Reese Tatum Jr., who is deceased, who died directly before my father's death, I have everlasting love for him. For my father, and in my father's memory, for the Tatum family and the extended Tatum family, and for myself, I'd like to say thank you so very, very much for the honor that you have bestowed on my father today. Thank you.